guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing amazing so today i was drawing in my notebook and i decided hey let me start recording and show you guys what i'm drawing so pretty much i'm just drawing expressions because i've noticed in my art that i'm drawing the typical pinterest girls that have like the straight face and like an emotionless look to them which is nice it could look cool however it after a while it does look boring and repetitive and i was watching this video by this artist i follow on instagram i forgot his name exactly and i don't want to butcher it so i'll just have a thumbnail of his video up on the screen somewhere and have him linked down below but pretty much he was talking about how people need to stop drawing the typical good looking pinterest girls because their expressions are just boring and it can make your piece just look uninteresting so i decided to practice drawing expressions because it's not something that i've ever really done before i kind of just look at reference photos which are the typical pinterest girls and draw those not really like actual expression expressions so i decided to challenge myself today and do that and i actually quite enjoyed how they turned out um with the first one of the girl yelling in the beginning when i was drawing it it looked like an old lady and i was really unmotivated to finish it because i thought it was gonna look horrible but i pushed through it <laughs> and I kept drawing and it actually turned out to be one of my favorite ones. So yeah, moral of the story is to not give up. Even if you feel like it looks like crap, just keep drawing, keep going at it and you will improve and you will end up liking your results. By the way, if you guys like the quality of this audio you're hearing right now compared to the voiceovers in my other videos it's because i got a blue yeti microphone i just noticed that in my other videos i just hated watching them because the audio was so terrible it was just bad so i decided to spend money on a microphone just so you guys can have good quality and because I figured if you guys are going to be watching my videos and hearing my voice, I'd like it to sound good to you guys for you guys to actually want to watch. So I hope you guys are liking the audio. Please let me know if it's better or if it's worse. Um, I don't think it'll be worse because the audio before was pretty bad. But yeah, just let me know what you think. And also let me know if you actually enjoy these types of videos because I know for sure people like my drawing tutorials um, because I've been getting a lot of good feedback from you guys and I've actually gotten in comments and even DMs on Instagram of people telling me that I inspire them and that I their video really that my video really that my videos really help them to improve their drawings and when I read those comments and those messages it really makes my day so please don't stop doing that let me know like all your comments all your feelings about my videos and stuff whether it's positive negative like i want to know like i want your guys feedback i want to know how you guys feel about my videos so right now i'm just going in with a white charcoal pencil just to add some highlights to the drawings this is why i really like drawing on this gray paper notebook because you can add highlights and shadows um, by using like a black charcoal pencil really easily and it just makes your drawings pop even more. So yeah, I really like this notebook. I forgot to even mention what the notebook is. So yeah, the notebook is just the Stratmore toned gray sketch paper medium surface notebook and I got it off of Amazon for not even that much. I think it was only like ten dollars for it and it's a nice medium size to it what size is it let me read it for you guys so it comes with 50 sheets and it's five by um 5.5 by 8.5 which i really like i don't i'm not really a huge fan of drawing on letter size paper for some reason like i either like the notebook that i'm drawing on to be smaller than a letter size or bigger i don't know why i just feel like the shape of leather size paper which is the typical um 8.5 by 11 it just feels weird to me and i don't know why maybe i'm just a weirdo but yeah that's just how i feel about that 
So yeah, so back onto drawing. I just really want to draw more expressions. That's my goal in 2020 is just to really amp up my drawing style and the art that I'm doing because I feel like right now it's just really boring and I want to experiment more with expressions and with colors and um, and just with different angles and different concepts because I feel like right, well, because I feel like with my previous work, it, I'm just not I'm I'm not impressed with it I just feel like I'm not really being artistic with my drawings and I want to take a bunch of reference photos and mush them together and add a different color scheme and add a different concept add some cool patterns and whatnot I just I'm just really not satisfied with my art right now and I just really want to improve so 2020 Still can't believe it's 2020, a whole new decade. But yeah, for 2020, I really want to improve my drawing. And yeah, so that's it. I created a vision board of all my goals for 2020. And I'm actually debating on doing a video on vision boards, what they are, how they help, and like how to make one. Because um, right now I have my vision board right above my desk and honestly looking at it every day it, it just pushes me to try to be better and to reach those goals. I already accomplished one of my goals for 2020 which was to improve my desk setup because before I didn't really have a desk in my room I had a vanity like a little small vanity table that I would do um my schoolwork and makeup and stuff at but it just wasn't big enough for me to actually like have a monitor and have uh, my laptop and draw on tablet and stuff I just felt really restricted with the things I can do on it so I went to Ikea I got a big old desk I got rid of my vanity and I have a monitor now which is super cool it's the BenQ um 27 inch designer one I forgot the actual name um and yeah it's a really nice monitor so right now I have my laptop in front of me I have my monitor I have my drawing tablet on the other side and my microphone right in front of me doing this voiceover and it's just really cool and I just feel so happy to finally have a nice desk setup and you guys will be seeing it soon because as I'm going to be doing a desk tour video just to show you guys how it looks my new setup and also I even put Ellie lights around um, underneath the desk so at night I can turn on the lights and it's just a nice vibe and I really enjoy it so stay tuned for that video I also have a how to draw lips video coming up soon I at first wasn't satisfied with how it was looking but I rewatched the clips and I decided even though it's not my best lips that I've drawn I should still probably post it because it still could be helpful for someone out there and also I feel like I need to start showing my failed art more because I feel as if people will just see the good end results and think that they're bad because all these other artists are just amazing and at doing art and never have bad pieces but we do we draw a lot of crappy stuff that we're not impressed with but we don't show it because we only want to show the best, which we should really stop doing. So I feel like that really discourages new artists because I know when I first started drawing and I was seeing my favorite artists on Instagram's work, I just felt really discouraged that I wasn't as good as them. And what I failed to realize, but I know now is that they had to have drawn like thousands of ugly drawings that they thought were terrible to be able to draw the way they do now. This is the end results of all the drawings. I'm pretty satisfied with them. I'm gonna keep on drawing more faces and expressions and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!